Welcome to Read Feed, my little corner of the internet where I get to review a book that I just read. And let me tell you, this next author, I have loved all of the books that I have read by her and I picked this up because the title was so hilarious I couldn't pass it up. It's called The Undomestic Goddess and it's by Sophie Kinsella. And Sophie, you've done it once again. Her writing is so emotionally charged that you feel in the mind of the character and this is really cool and really great and Sophie has a really good talent for that. Sophie is a former financial journalist and the author of the best-selling novels Confessions of a Shopaholic, Shopaholic Takes Manhattan, Shopaholic Ties the Knot, Shopaholic and Sister, and Can You Keep a Secret? She lives in England where she is at work on her next book and I'm so glad she is even though this book is about I think 10 years old almost. Um, I picked it up and it was absolutely wonderful. So let me read you the front flap. Workaholic attorney Samantha Sweeting has just done the unthinkable. She made a mistake so huge it'll wreck any chance of a partnership. Going into utter meltdown she walks out of her London office, gets on a train, and ends up in the middle of nowhere. Asking for directions at a big, beautiful house, she's mistaken for an interviewee and finds herself being offered a job as housekeeper. Her employers have no idea they've hired a lawyer, and Samantha has no idea how to work an oven. She can't sew on a button, bake a potato, or get the ironing board open. How she takes a deep breath and begins to cope and finds love is the story as delicious as the bread she learns to bake? But will her old life ever catch up with her? And if it does, will she want it back? So just reading that flap reminded me of one of the characters in this who is simply like, I would say the God character. It is the gardener's mother who um, takes Samantha under her wing and teaches her how to be more domestic and actually enjoy what she's doing. It's not just a chore. It's something that you can put love into. And I absolutely adore that. My review after reading all, all 26 chapters of this wonderful book is, Oh man, what a great novel. The way Sophia writes with emotional accuracy. Bravo. Grand job. Thanks for the fun. It was so much fun reading this. I'm going to suggest that if you're over 18, you should read this. If you're under 18, it might be questionable because there is this really great scene in it. Um, I won't ruin it for you, but it is absolutely really nice to read. And so, Sophie, you've done it once again. And I'll be reviewing some more of your books later on in this series. But I just want to say thank you for writing this and it is simply a pleasure. If you got a laugh, even just from the title, The Undomestic Goddess, you're going to love this. It's about starting over again, this time with more paying attention to the people who are around you and how they can fill your life with a lot more abundance if they're the right people. If they're not, you're going to be ignored and left alone and feeling miserable even on your birthday. And so I love that this book showed the before, the how middle stuff was, you know, how it's awkward and how at the end she has family. A family that cares for her and loves her and wants to treat her well. And that is so cool. And this is just from a book. <laughs> so this is great. Um, I was covering up the little sticker that said um, the goddess getaway sweepstakes because it is long passed over. <laughs> but if you are the sweepstakes winner, I mean, you're free to, uh, to let me know how it was. Maybe I'll leave actually comments on this section because I absolutely love Sophie's writing. I got into it when uh, Shopaholic, and Shopaholic is now a movie that I have to go check out sometime. So anyhow, thank you so much for turning into Read Feed. This is a definite please read. This is so funny. There are scenes that are just so great. 
and the emotional accuracy, like I said before, was just spot on with learning what you really want in life. And even if you think, oh crap, I've messed up so huge, there is an offer to get your old life back and an offer for this new life and what path do you want to choose and what do you go for. So that's my read feed for The Undomestic Goddess. It's absolutely a wonderful read. So thanks for tuning in.